Hello. Okay, I'm not sure if I should keep playing the music in the background. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, love. How are you? I'm saying your name wrong again. Are you so excited? Look at me messing things up again. Woo. Hello, hello, hello. Today is a special day. Um, I mentioned this already. Actually, I can reach over here if I reach far enough. I wasn't prepared as I thought I was. Um, so, this is going to be broken up a little bit weird, so get ready. I am Psycho Bunny, and I am here to do a box opening. IFI sent me a special copy of Toe You Spell Carnival to do an opening for, and I'm really excited to do this. Um, this all happened because I've been talking to IFI uh, a little bit more, which has been really exciting, um, because I was asking if they could send me, I'm trying not to, sh to like literally show my address, hang on, uh, these cards. And then when they, they were going to send me the cards, they were like, hey, would you also like to do a box opening for this game? They were like, do you play other stuff besides Atome? And I'm like, I do. I swear. I just don't have time because I play Atome. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you, Ninja. You're a bit biased, but I appreciate you. Um, so they sent me this super cute version of Toyu. This is the, hang on, I have everything open so I won't forget. This is the limited edition. Um, and this is on their website. I am going to be streaming after this, but I will be breaking this up into two segments when I upload it onto YouTube, so don't be confused. Toyu's going to have its own little post. I'm debating if I should turn the music back on. I just don't know if I'll get in trouble for playing it. But they also sent me the card that comes with it. So if you buy this off their website, you get the super cute card. Please focus on Toyu, not me. Focus on the girls, not not me. I really tried to set up a second camera today so I could show this stuff off. The other camera kept flickering uh, in and out of focus. And I was like, that looks terrible. I would rather just hold everything up to the, the camera than uh, try to have a desk view that looks like this. I even tried flipping it so I would be the worst camera, and it looked so bad. It was looking so bad. I was like, oh, man. It looked like uh, if I was trying to, let's see, let's make you so quiet. Um, if I was trying to, I don't know if you can hear it. What's that word? If I was trying to make, like, a scary movie, that's what the camera footage looked like. So this is the limited edition. Uh, this is the part that I loved the most when I first saw this box. I actually watched their box opening when they did theirs. Like, look how cute they are. Oh my God. The art for Toyu is crazy good. I put some of the girls over here. I put the two main girls that have been showing up on the box. That is Reimu and Marissa. And if I say names wrong, be ready. I do it all the time. And then I put my favorite character. Can anyone guess why? But this is Raisin because she's a bunny girl. And actually, she has purple hair. If my camera was... Actually, my hair has slowly turned blue. It was always looking blue on camera, guys. But I swear it was purple at start. I didn't even open this yet. I restrained myself. Do you know how long this has been sitting in my room? Like two weeks. And then my copy, I'll show you my game in a second. I'm going to open the box first. But oh my goodness. I was so excited. <laughs> it also has that nice feel. I don't know how to describe that better than it feels smooth. Does that make sense? Is anybody like me? <laughs> when you touch certain plastic and paper, that you're like, mm. They sent me the PS5 copy, which means I officially have to open up. I actually have my PS5 in here officially uh, because we were playing Call of Duty last month for Halloween because I wanted to be Sam from Trick or Treat. And I was Sam for Trick or Treat for Halloween. So it was a really cool time. I have not played a Bullet Hell in a while, so I'm a little bit nervous. Um, bullet Hells make me really anxious. There's so much happening all at the same time on, in Bullet Hells. And that is what the actual game looks like inside. So it's got the cover art. This is also like our favorite kind of Atome game where it's a flip cover. So you can flip that cover around and then you get this cover instead, which is the cover that's on the box. Super cute. Is my lighting off? Is it me? Does it look cute? It's all this bright light. I could probably turn this down a little bit more just in case. I sometimes also have this not actually pointed at me just so the lighting is a little more natural. 
All right, put that down. Now we're gonna actually open the box. Is it, oh, okay, okay, it's this kind of box where you like wiggle it and it like has a lid. That's really fun. <gasps> I'm nervous. I'm gonna make the whole desk shake, watch this. Whee! Wow! Wow, the inside has stars, that's so cute. That's my favorite kind of box when it opens up like this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna see inside, there's a sticker in here, what does that mean? We have this lovely filler to make everything not bounce around in here. And with consideration to me, they put little holes in there so you can easily grab stuff. Oop, I still have my sharp object, which I had to bring out my actual sharp object for a change. This is my little box opener. We're gonna do this in order. Whatever pops up first is the first thing we're gonna look at. Whee! <gasps> it's, 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 it's re Remu. Oh my God. <laughs> so they're inside the box. She's in a little plastic. We're gonna take her out. We're gonna free her. We're gonna make her free again. And she has her little, her little charm stick. What's that word for that? What's that called? Come, come be free with me. Eee, she's like a soft, uh, she's like a soft vinyl. Like, I don't know if you've ever got one of those keychains. That's what it feels kind of like. That's soft, smooth vinyl. Please focus on my sweet, sweet baby. And this is why I wanted a top down view so you guys could actually get these things in, in focus. There we go. That's my hand in focus. There she is. But yeah, she's kind of, she moves a little bit because she is soft. Oh, does she come off the base? Do I want to test that? No, it's not tested. I don't want to test it. The bottom also is like smooth. It's a smooth but shiny, which means it'll be less like likely to like slide on stuff. That's super cute. We got a lot of little details in there. Her eyes are so cute. Believe in me. Trust me. She looks really cute. And then they got her bow, her signature bow. And like the lines in her uh, shrine maiden dress. Come on, I know I have so much happening here. I'm trying really hard to make it focus. Sorry guys. Like I said, the other camera was just not working. All right, I'm gonna put the plastic inside this. I love this. This is this is what I'm gonna fight for for our next Atome launch. I want a little figurine. Like, give me a cute child to sit on my desk. Like. Don't have my desk side showing right now because I want to be more center, but uh, she looks great over there. All right, so this one should be Marissa. And then, I don't, have you guys ever played this game before or have you seen the characters? Like the characters are really popular. It's, it's crazy because I knew Toyu before I knew Toyu. Does that make sense? I have never even heard of this. Well, get ready. Because if you like cute anime girls, they got them all. And all the characters do have voice actors, too. So it's not just like, here's a character. Here's a character. They have their own voice actor. They have their own personalities. So it's really neat. All right. She's like a weach. So she's got a broom. And she's got her cute hat. And her hat has a bow on it. Do the same thing. She has a similar eye color. And she's made all the same, like, soft, soft, soft vinyl. So she's really, really soft. But it also means she kind of moves a little bit because she's soft vinyl. And then because of the way it's made, like, these little things are, like, punched out into it. So it's really cool. I love her. And now they're going to sit over here because they're friends. We're going to play this game. Um, I think it's next -ish week I can play it. It comes out, I think the 18th is the official day. I'll double check. I'll have it on my calendar. And then this insert pops out entirely, so you can slide that right out. The next thing in here is the soundtrack, which we're actually listening to. This is one of the ones they posted on uh, their channel. And this is playing them in order. So right now it's on Bloomed Ability. Oh, it's the girls have their own songs. I get it now. All right, so this is what the thing looks like. There's a lot of shine because it's still wrapped in plastic. So we're going to open that up. 
Oh, interesting. I'm so scared, actually. I haven't, I haven't opened a CD in so long. Dude. Hear me out. <laughs> I'm new to opening CDs. It's been a while. Am I also the person who, like, never opens their collector's editions and stuff? I am really bad about it. In fact, I bought the limited edition of Zelda the day it came out. And it's still just, just chilling right there. See that giant box? That's it. Unopened back there. And then I don't touch them for so long. And then I feel bad about opening them because they've been sealed for so long. I'm my own problem. Or I open it right away. And then I won't play the game. And then I feel bad for having to open it. That's, those are my two. There's two wolves inside of me. And they both have anxiety about doing the opposite things. Hear me out. I'm struggling to open this. It's because I don't want to accidentally scratch the plastic with my sharp object. All right. What I'm going to do. <gasps> the CDs are cute. Hang on. Wait, what? Okay, so this is a twofer card. It tells you the names of the songs on it. It's been so long since I've opened a CD. I'm gonna like scratch this. I was gonna try and take it out, but it's so thin. I just didn't wanna have the shine on it, but this has like a bunch of the girls on it. I don't know if it's all of them. Cause if they all have their own song, there's a lot of songs in here. And it's a two CD. So this is the first CD. And then you do this fun thing and then you scream because you're afraid you're going to drop the whole thing. And then there's the second CD hiding in the back and it's got both the girls outlined here. And it's yin and yang. Oh, that's fun. Oh, exciting. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So then that also has a another topper on it. And then beyond that, which I think we're very familiar with this from IFI, they make the most lovely art books. So here is the cover for the art book. And the bottom of the box, because I like to show off everything, is got black stars. So it's like the opposite of the top box. I'm going to be lurking, but look at the Atome Discord when you get a chance. Asian, no. I can't. What are you going to tell me? Oh, gosh. It's so ominous. Okay, so we're going to open this up. I won't be showing too much of this. All right. So this is the first page. We've got a table of contents. We've got a lovely little paper. This is, again, I've stolen my assets from their website. Have I mentioned this before? All right. So the index has synopsis, characters, illustrations. And then after that, there's character concept sketches, event CG sketches, background sketches, and package sketches. Certain game coming out in January. <laughs> Don't say things like this to me. All right, so here's our first page. And it's got another lovely collection of the girls and the synopsis. All right, so... Gensokyo, Gensokyo, a remote island isolated from the outside world, where humans and yokai live side by side. One day, the shrine maiden of Hakue Shrine, Remu Hakue, spots mysterious pillars towering over various locations throughout Gensokyo. These pillars signal the start of the spell carnival, a festival holded by Yukari Yakumo, where one must battle with their spell cards on the line. In order to investigate the true intentions of Yokare Yakumo, who launched the spell carnival so suddenly, Reimu Hakure joins the fight for spell cards. I <laughs> just dropped the mic and leave. Yeah, she's like, go, go to the Discord. There's a new game coming out. You don't have like so many games you're already struggling to play right now. All right, and then this is our first page. Or sorry, our second page, but this is our character page. So many games, literally. And I'm so behind. I'm going to be playing Variable Barricade tomorrow until I finish it, by the way. Just so you guys know. Because I can't be playing Variable Barricade, Verche, and 9RIP at the same time. I love Marissa's design. I do love her. I love that she's like a little witch. You know what? That seems like your favorite character, Ray. 
All right, so Reimu is the lovely shrine. I feel like a teacher right now. Hang on. The lovely shrine maiden of paradise. The voice actor is my Nakahara. And she's got a lot of emotes. So she's a yokai extermination and resolving and okay. Yokai extermination and resolving incident. She's being a shrine maiden isn't easy. The shrine maiden of Hakuoku Shrine of Gensyoko. She spends her days at the rarely visited shrine to clean, slacking off, and sipping tea. She specializes in exterminating yokai and resolves incidents in Gensyoko. Her, her ability is flight. Which is on my weak point. That's so fair. I put the bunny girl over there because that's my weak point. It's like my name or something. I decay the name of the brunette with the red outfit. I like the best just based on design. Well, maybe she'll be in one of these pages and we can talk about her. So Marissa is an ex exceedingly normal magician. <laughs> that seems mean. <laughs> like extreme, exceedingly normal. Like I... I'm not exceptional. I'm just extremely normal. The voice actor is Yumi Uchihama. Yama. A highly curious ordinary magician and troublemaker. She runs the Kirisama Magic Shop, a jack-of-all-trades shop in the Forest of Magic. Though she can be sassy, she is also straightforward, competitive, and hardworking, and her ability is magic. And I guess these are like quotes from the game. I think they're being sarcastic because she's not normal. Or maybe she uses like normal magic. Maybe she doesn't have like a special magic. Ooh, wait, are we at the end of the soundtrack? No. Hot, oh, we did it just, it started, we're on the third one. It just kept going without telling me. We miss out, you'll miss out if you don't participate in such fun festivities, right? I'm sure you're bored anyways, Remu. Yeah, let me just be bad to my friend. Hi, Twyla. Oh, these ones are cute. Okay, okay. Here's our next two. I love her outfit, like this this wing thing. I almost put her in the picture actually when I first saw her on the site. And then this maid is anytime I see a maid, is it just me? I just think of the maid from Fairy Tale that's like obsessed with, with Lucy. A perfect and elegant maid. This is Sakuya Iz Iza Yao. A human and the head maid of the Scarlet Devil Mansion? Why? Let me tilt my... There we go. <laughs> An impeccable maid who competes every... Completes every task flawlessly. Ability time manipulation. Wait, what? You may be a noble vampire mistress, but I am a mortal human. Oh ho ho! All right, and this cutie is Amelia Scarlet, a Scarlet Devil. So that's, I'm assuming they're like, everyone gets kind of like paired up. Is that what's happening here? A vampire aristocrat and the owner of the Scarlet Devil Mansion. She is 500 years old. She's selfish, often bored, and follows curious whims that trouble everybody. Since she is nocturnal and dislikes sunlight, she carries an umbrella to block it. She's me. I am her. Her ability is fate manipulation. I'm a noble vampire. There's no need to fear me. I forgot to say their voice actors. This is Yuki Kuwahara, and this is Maya Uchida. I love dropping the mic and leaving it. It gives me some mystery and susp <laughs> suspicious. All right. We're just going to start saying names at this point. I don't want to go too, too far. All right. This is the next one. So this is Flandit. Blandore, Scarlet, and then this is Yomu Kanapaku. Let's see. Oh, this one's super pretty. I like her outfit. Look at this. So that's Alice Margatroid. That's how you pronounce it. Don't question it. Yuyuko Saigyoju. Yuji? I like her outfit too. Dude, she looks comfy. She's like a little Miss Muppet over there. Ghost girl. Wait, she's a ghost. She belongs in 9 RIP, guys. <gasps> Here she is. All right. All right, all right. I got. I just had to stare at it for a second. This is Yukari Yukamo and Rei-san Udongen Inabi. <laughs> Inaba? He's got quite a name. All right, and this one, the Yukai lurking in the boundaries, and then... Ma maddening red eyes bunny's maddening red eyes a former moon rabbit <gasps> she's a moon bunny 
Wait, she's now resides in Atole and t whatever. Bamboo Forest of the Lost. Cheerful and energetic. She can also be unreliable. Dang. She apprentices under the farm as a pharmacist and travels to villages to sell medicines. Her ability is insanity manipulation. Guys, it's us. It's us as a bunny. Insanity manipulation. She's a bunny with insanity. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Hi, Lou. Oh, my goodness. All right. I like this girl's pants. It's got Fuji, Wada, no, Mok Mokoi, and Aya Shame Maru. Again, don't question it. That's exactly how it's pronounced. Oh, she's got cute hair. Okay. Look at these girls. It's like they have like a, like a set, right? Sunai, Kochia, and then Tenshin Hinak Nawi. With her stick and rainbow skirt. I'm waiting for my digital code from IFI, and I'm so hyped to play this game. It looks so cute. Yeah, doesn't it? I'm really excited. I'm going to be playing it on my PS5 because they sent me the PS5 copy. <laughs> Which means I brought it into my room at the right time, guys. All right. Here's our next set. We got Satori Komiji and Koisu Komeji. Oh, they're family. Younger sister. Okay, so the green hair is the younger sister. Look how cute, though. Like these outfits. You got to be kidding me. <gasps> Wait, here's a brunette. Is this who you were talking about? This might be them. Utsuho Reyuji, and then Hijiri Baya Kuren. Like, she's got, like, a, a Mega Man arm going on. She's, like, holding an, a gun in her arm. That's so cute. Yeah, the character design in this is crazy. <gasps> Wait, it keeps getting cuter. Okay, we got Okina Madara, and I'm saying it to myself. My bad, sorry. Okina Madara. And Saki Kuro Koma. And I believe the next page is the last page I'm allowed to share, you guys. So you gotta you gotta be ready. Alright, this is the first page of illustrations. It's the last page I'm allowed to show you guys. There's more pages in this book. I'm gonna look at them. You don't get to. Hang on. <gasps> Pretty. Cute. <gasps> oh, that's nice. I like that. You can't see it. You can't see it. It's only me. Forget to buy it. Go buy it. <gasps> Oh, it's their little sprite forms. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, interesting. She's got a brooch. Wait. I like these poses. Okay. So the next part is, like, uh, the characters, like, design, like, how they're sketched out, which is really cool to see. Um, and then it has some, like, sketch, not finished, unfinished sketches near the back, too. It is. The art's really beautiful in this. I was really excited. And I've heard about this game before specifically because of how pretty the art is. So, Because so many people were talking about it. How many soundtrack trailers are there? Oh my stars. It's still, it's still just looping through soundtrack trailers. How does it know? <laughs> how does it know to keep going? Alright, I'm slowly going to slide everything back into the box. Which I love having a box to put stuff in. Like, hear me out. So this is going to be out the 19th of this month. And I will be playing it. I I know in my soul I will not finish this game 100%. Well, I might try, but you girl's so behind. I'm so behind and stuff. Like, I didn't put my babies. The babies are just going to live on the counter. They're just going to stay there. I'm like, I didn't put them back in their boxes. They're here now. It's not like they're not going to be on the counter when I'm playing the game anyway, so might as well leave them out. But this box, oh my god. Like, it closes so pretty, and it's so gorgeous. Like, this art, like, I would I would buy a poster of this. Like, Jesus. Like, they look so cute. It gives Mortal Kombat vibes as a concept, right? Like, they're going to go fight this person or, like, start this stuff. Is it for the sake of humanity? I don't know. And if you get this from their website, you do get this special card. This is specifically to the box, I believe. I think you get it if you buy the standard, but you still have to buy it from their website either way to get this card. 
Otherwise, you don't get the cute card. And then here's my copy. I have it for PS5. I did the flip. This is the inside cover art because the outside cover art's the same as the the promo photos. But honestly, it's so pretty. I'm so excited to play this when it comes out officially. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to be so over. Get ready. I get so overwhelmed when there's so much stuff on the screen. I will be crying the whole time. It's going to be... It's going to be intense. All right. So that's too, 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 too many games. All right. We're going to start this. Okay. So before I start our 9 RIP, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed my box opening for Toyu Spell Carnival, which is coming out November 19th. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check out their website. I will be listing it in the description below so you guys can see it too.